quote, smart chips are very cool and they're getting better and better each day. Um, but one of the challenges is we've all been on like Google Sheets and Drive and Docs and stuff for a long time and we have existing data that isn't so clear on how to convert to smart chips to take advantage of some of the new functionality. Today, we're gonna look at how to do that in Sheets. So I've got uh, column A here and you'll see that I've got existing data. It's a couple of hyperlinks to some Google Docs. So if I go in here and highlight the column and I go to insert and I go down to smart chips, you'll see that it automatically detected that and it can prompt to convert to a file chip. So I do that and we've now converted to a file chip. So why is that important? Well, once it's in a file chip format, there's a bunch of different things we can do with it. We can do stuff like data extractions. We can actually extract the file name, URL, creation, last modified by, and add those as columns into the spreadsheet in order to extend the functionality. Um, so let's talk about how to do that with emails. So I've got a spreadsheet here. I've got some emails in there. Same type of thing. I come down to smart chips. It detects that those are email addresses. I convert to people chips. Same thing here, if I hover it over it now, it detects the name and I can take advantage of being able to email, I can chat, I can start a meet, I can schedule a calendar event, um, or I can open the detailed view. Um, so it just gives a little bit of additional functionality. Now, one of the other things is uh, working with data and having a spreadsheet where you are still adding data, but you want to create one of those cool drop downs, right? Maybe even do some color coding, conditional formatting and stuff like that. So here in column C, I've got a column with just a bunch of data that applies to that row. If I select that and I go up to insert, and I select drop down, that will take the data that's in that column and it will automatically get me started to be able to uh, apply the different color codes. We'll just do a couple here. Um, but be able to add that to the drop downs. And because I selected the entire column, it went ahead and extended that down so that as I add data to it, I can now very easily add um, some data validation and conditional formatting. So I hope that helps. Uh, I think there's a lot more coming with smart chips that's really gonna be uh, very cool in terms of workflow. And I'm super excited to see what Google's coming out with. All right, hope that helps, later.